It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The fact that the British government is censoring PrisonPlanet.com, Infowars.com, TruthNews.us, Infowars.net is a big victory for us. It shows that we're hurting them badly. When they uh, carried out their attack with Mossad and CIA back on 7-7 in 2005 with the London bombings, when you typed London bombing or bombing into Google for at least a month straight, the number one thing under the term bombing or London bombing, the number one thing was PrisonPlanet.com links. Now, we have caught major Internet companies in England, Australia, Germany, the United States, blocking Infowars.com. If you will notice on most major cable modem systems in the U.S. now, if you type an address in wrong, it doesn't go to a blank screen on your computer. It'll be Time Warner Roadrunner, or it'll be Comcast Cable. And they're running everything through their systems. They don't need to tap anything. You go through them as a gate, your computer is coupled first into their system. Now, I learned a decade ago, really, I guess I started Infowars.com 11 years ago, in 1997, so even then, public schools, Dell computers, many University of Texas systems, then we got calls and people mailed us the sheets where the university had screens saying uh, that it was blocked. Municipal libraries, state libraries, university libraries. So this is one form of censorship. Also, we found out of the scores of Internet filtration systems that people subscribe to and download, or in the old days you would mail off for a disk, that would have thousands of websites banned on it. And there's, there's a family of these. There's porn, hacking, hate, and gambling. That's the four... Uh, genres that 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 people oh I don't want my children seeing this I'm going to download this program or I'm going to buy this disc and install it and we all are, are included in hacking in in uh, many of those private systems we are listed as a hacker website nothing about hacking on our website and we are also listed as a filtration system for hate. Now they've added a fifth to some of these filters. There's only one way they're censoring. There's many. They hit you from multiple sides, multi-headed hydra. Now they're adding piracy. Now we're not on those lists, but it's kind of like the TSA list that has over a million Americans on it, or the criminal list that has over eight million Americans on it, that people don't even have convictions they're on it. This is a control grid to track and trace and make us second-class citizens. Now, under Internet 2, one facet of that plan, was, there's multiple tracks running on that, Comcast, Time Warner, others are doing it right here in Texas. Comcast is doing it in New York. Uh, other major, uh, The two major companies have announced two weeks ago uh, in Canada that they're going to decide what sites you visit, and they're only going to allow a couple thousand sites. It isn't just going to be Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. It is already just the vast majority of the Internet, and so your computer becomes a glorified cable system with only a few thousand websites that you can visit. Now, we told you years ago this was going to happen because we could read the minutes of the Internet 2 meetings they've had in London, that they've had in Tokyo, that they've had in Austin, Texas, they've had in Chicago, San Francisco, what, three years ago it was in Austin. And they always announce at the beginning, it's a consortium of private corporations, universities and government and DARPA and other foreign governments that, quote, the Internet is dead. And they say they're going to not fix the old hubs of the Internet. They're going to let those degrade. They say that's their right to, to uh, do that. They also want the, the authorization by the federal government and the FCC. That Comcast just got told Friday that they, can, they have to stop doing what they're doing, filtering out the majority of the web, and they are saying they're going to disregard the FCC. They don't have that regulatory power. So, so the web was built to be free and open. You pay for it with your uh, websites you pay for. The people that are serving you pay for it with their servers and their bandwidth. You pay for it with your Internet connection. We're getting more Internet connectivity. We're getting more bandwidth, not less. They try to have Ted, Ted Stevens come out and say, oh, the pie's small. It's not getting bigger. We have to restrict it. Now he's indicted for all his crimes. And there's no alleging those. So 
We need listeners to understand this is happening. This is coming down now. This has been declared. Now, Paul Watson has gone to China. Paul Watson took a trip there last year to Tibet. Paul Watson could get on PrisonPlanet.com from Communist China. But in England, and we keep getting reports from listeners and emails, and th they send us screenshots of it happening. What Another way they're attacking is, quote, the government's going to offer everyone free broadband wireless in Western Europe, in the United States, in South Korea, in Singapore, and many other countries, first world nations. Quote, free. You're paying for it through tax money, and then they are demanding that anyone in that area who is taking the free broadband basically click on an agreement waiving their rights to be tracked, to be traced, to be controlled. So see, they're just making the new internet where you'll have to have a sub-website on one of their major websites. There's only going to be a hundred of them under Internet 2. And then no more Infowars.com. It'll be MySpace slash Infowars.com and they can restrict your bulletins, shut you down, delete you, ban you. But the other big way they're doing this on, quote, free government internet systems is Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com are completely banned, but not just us. Paul then noticed that almost every alternative media site, even mainline alternative sites, you see 60% down, 60 plus percent down in newspaper readership. TV's plunging in ratings. The mainstream media is fully discredited. They're falling apart. They've got to do this, folks. They are coming. They're chopping up the web right now. You had better use PrisonPlanet.com while it's still available. You'd better tell your whole email list about the censorship. You'd better explain to them the different... We've got to create a war room on Prison Planet and InfoWars now, explaining the... Well, there's really more than 20 ways they're killing the web, but, but there's... Uh, six or seven main ways that have sub subsystems of doing it so people can identify how they're being censored, how it's being choked, what's happening. But it's here. Just like we wrote two years ago, MySpace is a Trojan horse of Internet, too. And that got picked up by a lot of uh, magazines, newspapers. Wired Magazine reported on our report. Uh, the San Francisco Chronicle did because their own web people, their own IT specialist, their own consultants had never put the big spectrum together, and they went, oh, my God, this is accurate. This is real. Well, we didn't put it together. Quit thinking I'm a genius. Internet 2 told us the plan seven years ago. You understand, folks? All we do is tell you what their official plan is. Dick Cheney said they wanted terror attacks, staged terror attacks for the war, and then they did it. They are arrogant bastards. It's the same thing on every issue. We're only telling you what is admitted. Do you understand that? And if they can acclimate you and get you to accept, okay, they're shutting the web down piece by piece, there's one big thing you can do. Go get our major headlines, the most important news we put out a day, probably three four articles we write on the biggest, most important issues. Earth-shaking stuff, like Dick Cheney planned to attack 12 different targets, including dressing up Navy SEALs and putting them on patrol boats and having them attack U.S. ships, blaming it on Iran. You, the listeners, are the ones being censored. You got that out. That's why they're scared of InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, because millions of you together on these sites are able to break through the electronic Berlin Wall that is the controlled corporate media. We are kicking their butts.